Yes, I'm going to talk about the ear. How many of you know ear? Yeah, how many use ear? Yeah, the same amount of people. Uh, we have uh, done a new ear app uh, at NRK. Uh, I'm from Net Company. I'm the tech lead mobile there, and I'm on the team at NRK. Uh, I'm going to talk about why we need a new app and uh, what we have done. So we have an old app on both uh, iOS and Android. Um, I'm going to talk mainly about the, the Android part. But uh, the main objective of, uh, of uh, IR is to notify people of bad weather and make the society safe. And uh, we have lots of data we want to put out, and we want to put it out to the people. So we have to support many different uh, devices, many different uh, uh, screen sizes, and so on. Uh, but uh, we noticed that from October last year to April now, uh, there were no new active installs on Android. Uh, we have uh, a problem with people not using it that much. It's the fifth largest weather service in the world. So we have a lot of users, but uh, we're not gaining traction. Uh, that's kind of because we have an outdated ex user experience. We have an outdated technical solution. Um, the app we have now is data-driven. Uh, we have no feeling, so people kind of see the competitors and uh, they think we have a dull app. Um, we have tried to uh, incorporate the uh, Nowcast, as we said. It's like uh, a 90-minute uh, forecast that comes with uh, extreme precision. Uh, but it's not enough. If you see the comp competition, it's, uh, it's way nicer. Uh, they have colors, they have feelings, they have uh, lots of uh, cool features. And um, if you see, uh, this is the traffic we have on EAR from the beginning till now. Uh, we have about 10 million hits on every platform each week. Uh, and the mobile, native mobile is the darkest part here. And uh, we are steadily increasing the traffic, but we don't gain users. So we have to do something. It's important for the entire thing, and we have done it with um, uh, having a, a prototype now for nearly a year. Uh, and we have had quite a journey. Uh, I'm going to talk you through this and see what we're, where we're at. So uh, in the beginning, we had uh, the presumption that we needed to up the game. We have uh, data-driven, as always, but we needed to have some feeling into it, uh, make it colorful, make it uh, more interesting. Um, so we, we iterated for... Uh, quite some time with the different uh, version of this. Uh, but uh, the main takeaway was it was too much info. The, the user was uh, trying to, uh, to, to uh, get all the info at the same time. So the eye have to move between here and here, and you have to scroll, and it's quite complex. So uh, people wanted to have an overview, and it was too hard. So we took a step back, and we took a, took a new turn, and we said, OK, what about if we zoom out and uh, look, uh, look at the horizon and uh, try to visualize that, uh, OK, there's clouds coming in in this time interval. It's uh, raining, and it's coming, uh, coming in. And so here we went for a much more, I think, beautiful uh, solution. And, um, uh, we tried some different versions here. We actually was uh, ready with a kind of beta product. But uh, the user said it was hard to understand. They couldn't get the overview they wanted. They, they actually, people didn't know what the clouds meant that was in the, in the horizon. Was it now or was it uh, later? So we scratched out our idea and uh, we uh, iterated uh, some further. And actually we had two different solutions, one on iOS and one on Android. Was, that was completely different. We prototyped for like four months in the different directions, and uh, uh, we had to make a choice. So actually, we made the choice to go for the Android version uh, and make these uh, uh, columns with, uh, with a representation of the weather icon. Um, the problem here was it, it was a representation of the table. And uh, then we have a, uh, a tab with one representation, and we have a table that's the exact the same thing. So uh, after some discussions, we, we thought, OK, this is not perfect. Uh, the users liked it, but it wasn't like, wow. So 
uh, after some uh, some uh, heavy discussions, uh, which I lost, uh, we went for uh, this, uh, which I'm glad for. Uh, this is uh, the new app. It's uh, uh, we have uh, this tab. The first tab is uh, all about feeling. You should experience the weather throughout the day. So we have a, a summary that gives you a, a text, the summary of, uh, of uh, the day uh, and or the next 12 hours. We have the sun path that's realistic uh, based on where you are at the, at the hemisphere. We have the cloud types plus rain, uh, lightning, uh, these kinds of effects. And we're going to incorporate much more clouds that, so it's uh, kind of realistic. We have a moon phase that's, uh, uh, that's uh, real. And it stars at night, a fairy tale. It's beautiful. And uh, realistic uh, sky colors. So, uh, so you have gradients that move up and down and uh, try to emulate the sun, uh, sunset and, and so on. Uh, this is how it works. So you drag you through the day. This is uh, a GIF, so it's not so smooth as it should be. But uh, you can see that we start with, uh, with rain and, uh, and a now cast, and we drag through the day, and it, uh, and it updates. Um, and we had to do something about the widget. This is from Android. Uh, if you have seen uh, this uh, new review analysis that gives you what doesn't the user like. So we have the vid widget and the effect on the rating is really bad. So in Android, widgets are really important and we need to, uh, to address that problem. So after heavy discussions, we found out, okay, we have to listen to the users. We, we're going to have a black uh, widget, we're going to have white widgets, we're going to have different sizes, and we're going to bring back the clock. Uh, that was something we took away, and people hated us. So, um, uh, and of course, we're going to have transparency, so, so people can fade it out. It's really important. Um, users, this is, uh, we have users from all over the world, possibly every country, actually. 29.6% uh, is from Norway, and 23 are from Sweden. And then you have Czech with the 7.8 in Germany, and so on, and South Africa. And the app is kind of important for really a lot of people uh, all around the world. And it, it's for many reasons. For instance, in Africa, uh, people with, uh, they harvest a crop based on what Ur says, because our weather service is free and it's precise enough to, to actually give data that they need. You have uh, fishermen, you have what, what should my kid wear to, to the kindergarten today. You have sports surfers that need the uh, wind data. And you have me in the morning wanting to know what is the weather today. Should I have an umbrella or not? Uh, so, so we have many users in many uh, countries and we have uh, a big community around this. And it's so different to, to work with when, uh, when you have an international app. So we try to do user tests. Mostly they are inconclusive because uh, there are so many opinions uh, to what should be the outcome. So we usually have an uh, approval rate of 50% of in new features. So we don't know. So we, we try to, to figure out and that's why we have used so much time. Uh, but we have 7,000 beta testers. And that's a really uh, good uh, improvement on our part. So we have, um, uh, we used beta testers for feedback and for bug reporting and to check all the devices. Uh, this is a snapshot yesterday from Instabug at iOS. We, in Android, we don't have so many bugs. Uh, but uh, iOS, we have like 600 uh, bugs here or uh, uh, more, uh, 750. And we have crashes and we have chats. And people uh, comment and do a lot of things, so we, we can actually get uh, quite a lot of feedback. Uh, the techy stuff, this is our uh, new REST API. We have a new API, and it's going to be open source, uh, or open to the public, so you can uh, sign up. Uh, this is the tech stack. We do 100% Kotlin with coroutines. We have uh, Rx Java, Dagger, Room, which uh, some of you probably was on uh, in the last session. Use uh, Instabug, 310 uh, APB, and Timber. So uh, we're really pleased with this uh, stack. Uh, it's worked perfectly. We had Java at the first, but then we went for Kotlin, and uh, it's superb. You can use it now, no problem. 
Uh, one problem we had was particle emitting. So the rain should fall, and it should fall like uh, in realistic motion and uh, with many particles. Uh, in uh, iOS, they use SpriteKit with, uh, that renders on metal. Uh, we tried to use the views in Android just to render views and uh, a lot of them, but the, the performance was awful. So we went for OpenGL, uh, made a, a commitment there, and uh, so we have views with OpenGL, uh, Rain, and Lightning. And we're working on the overdraw in Android. So you see, if you know overdraw, you know that red is bad. So if you have red, you have some problem with the performance, and the entire screen is red. And that's because we have so many layers. Uh, so we, we, we're going to do a lot of stuff now just to enhance the performance and uh, try to, to make it smoother. Uh, on old devices like Android 4.2, uh, this is rendering quite choppy, and we don't want that. Uh, last but not least, the release is really soon. How many of you have joined the beta group? Yeah, some. You can join the beta group. Uh, we have 7,000. We want more. But uh, I think within next week or two, we're going to release, release to the public. And uh, hopefully, everyone will enjoy it. Yes, thank you.